Welcome to Flower Juice. My name is John McDonald and today I'm going to show you a very simple table arrangement using this beautiful silver metal tray, some calla lilies and some lovely little phalaenopsis orchids. I've also got some steel grass as the base. So, simple table arrangement and let's begin. So what I've done is I've used this block of floral foam and uh, what I need to do is just check, check it for cutting. So, we take that end off. And then I'm just slip, making this into thin slices. And this is where we can work from. So I want one at each end and one into the middle. Now, to cover this, I could use foliage, but it's become it's going to be more difficult because we need a bit of foliage and it'll take away from that clean look. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use some sand. Just uh, space this out. Another way to uh, hide oasis is you can actually just colour it. You could use a uh, spray paint and use that as a way of hiding it. Okay. Now, I'm just going to take this steel grass and start adding it. And what I'm wanting to do is create some interest, some interesting texture. So using these bunches, we can start doing that. So just take little groups, maybe about seven or seven or eight stems. We'll just go in different lengths. If your bunch is a little bit too big, it's going to be clumsier to use, so you probably want to just keep it on the neater side of what you've actually got. And we can vary the heights as well. Steel grass is so versatile. It's also not that expensive, it's quite um, easy to get hold of. It'll last a good while. And we can do interesting things with it. So some of these are longer loops, some of them are shorter loops. I just want a really mixed effect. We don't need to waste any. This end looks a little bit spare, so we can add a little bit more here. It's a good idea when you make an arrangement just to step back and actually think, what does it need? Is there an area that's needing something? And I'm thinking here. Yeah, we can add a little bit more here. That's not a problem.
Okay, so my next flower is the calla lily. These are ideal. This is going to create a real sense of rhythm and movement with this. And I just want to work these into the arrangement. If you're really wanting them to be bendy and flexible, then you can leave them out of water. And once they've actually been arranged, then you'll find that they'll become more turgid as well. So I'm just working these in and just enjoying the way that they actually lie. So let's just see what they actually have as a shape. And making use of the steel grass to hold them. So what we're looking for is to add to that sense of layer. We can even use another cala as a way of supporting that. And I do want to put one or two lower down. I think is quite nice. And just by keeping these all going in one direction, this is really going to give it a defined movement. The colour are so simple and clean. It's a little bit like Art Deco. And just to finish off, I want to use these little orchids. These are little Phalaenopsis orchids and I actually took them off a plant. There's lots of Phalaenopsis out there, so uh, if you want, then you can sometimes make use of the plant to get something a little bit different. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to essentially use an area like here where I'm going to put these orchids. So we really get a grouping. But now I've said that, I might put a little one further down. So, there we go. A very simple table arrangement. You could make a few versions of this and have them down a very large table. You could put this on a buffet arrangement. It took no time. It's three materials. It's very visual. I would add a little bit of water to this just to keep it to last. Um, but have a go. Thank you for watching.